Hello everybody and welcome to my 34 VBA 2010 tutorial and um, this tutorial is going to go into how to pass variables into a function by reference rather than by value so what I mean by that is where I've spoken about scope before if you pass a variable into a function by value you're, no, you, you're essentially creating another variable that that second function uses whereas when you're passing by reference all it's doing is just telling that second function where in memory that the original variable stored and then that function can access that the scope of that variable that it normally wouldn't be able to so the best way to kind of explain this to you is just to to show you an example so let's get started so let's put uh, a main function uh, or main sub um, then we're going to give ourselves just a, a string so let's do our string uh, string and then we'll set it equal to something over here so we know at the moment this one's got scope because it's in the same code block we've just declared it so we know we can set it so this string was set was changed in main sub and then what we're going to do is we're just going to call our function that we're going to create so call change string and then we're just going to pass it our string and then if we just set this up now so let's put ourselves a function down here called chain string and then we instead of putting by val here we're not going to put by val we're going to put by ref or by reference and then we want it to pass us a string and put it as string so even though we put it as a different name to the variable that we're passing in it's not actually going to just give us this variable it's going to create this second variable but it's going to give that variable the same uh, memory index as that one so when we change this variable it's also going to change this variable up here but regardless of the fact that they're in different code blocks so if we change our string down here so str equals I have been amended in change string function and then that's it we're not going to do anything else with that we're just going to have that as our function and then just to test this let's just stick message box is around so our string and then let's just do it afterwards as well so in theory if we were doing by value uh, and I'll show, I'll show you what it does if we do it by value to start off with so let's pass it by value uh, so with by value they, these are going to be both the same even when we change this one it's not going to change our string so it's just going to message the same thing out twice so let's press play and then this string was changed in main sub and this string was changed in main sub so they both ch stayed the same whereas if we now change this back to by ref as we intentionally attended and we press play and this string was changed in main sub and then press OK magic moment and I have been amended in change string function so that is how you would pass a, a variable by reference it just gives you that kind of control over uh, amending with the initial kind of variable that you've got so it's quite useful if you're working with uh, kind of worksheet objects and you want to pass through the reference of a worksheet object um, because if you've got a worksheet you don't need to have loads of different variables storing it in memory you just need to kind of store it in the memory once and then just reference it so we'll come on and we'll use that in later tutorials uh, but for now that just remember that's how you use by by reference and how you use by value in, in slightly different ways most of the time you're going to use by value so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next tutorial